Cryptococcus neoformans is a fungus commonly found in the environment and usually infects the lungs or the central nervous system in more advanced stage. People become infected after inhaling the microscopic fungus. Although most healthy individuals who are exposed to C. neoformans never become ill from it. Most cases occur in people who are immunocompromised, particularly those with advanced HIV and AIDS. Since uh, Cryptococcus neoformans enters the body through the respiratory tract, infection can present as a pneumonia-like illness before moving to the central nervous system and causing meningoencephalitis. It is fatal if left untreated. Cryptococcus neoformans is a fungus found worldwide. It was estimated that 223,000 cases of cryptococcus meningitis uh, occurs globally each year and 181,000 deaths, a decrease since the widespread availability of antiretroviral drugs. 90% of cryptococcal meningitis cases are seen amongst patients with AIDS and a CD4 cell count less than 100 cells per microliter. Approximately 15% of AIDS-related mortality is caused by cryptococcal disease. And so the risk factors for cryptococcus infections in descending order includes AIDS, prolonged treatment with glucocorticoids, person who's had an organ transplant, certain malignancies, liver disease, and sarcoidosis. Most of this condition, as you know, uh, reduces the immune system, suppresses the immune system, and thus increases the risk of opportunistic infections, such as cryptococcus infections. Now let's talk about the pathogen and the life cycle itself. Cryptococcus neoformans is a species of the genus Cryptococcus, a group of pathogenic encapsulated yeasts that can live in both plants and animals. Cryptococcus species are distinguished based on antigen-antibody reaction, termed capsular agglutination, and are designated A, B, C, or D, serotypes. Serotype A is known as Cryptococcus uh, grubi. Serotypes B and C is Cryptococcus gadi. And serotype D is the Cryptococcus neoformans that we know, which worldwide is pathogenic. The cryptococcus neoformans life cycle involves both asexual and sexual forms. The asexual form exists as yeast and reproduced by budding. Cryptococcus neoformans first grows as a budding yeast and switches to hyphal growth during sexual cycle. Cryptococcus neoformans is a fungus found in the environment throughout the world. It is typically found in soil, decaying wood, tree hollows, or in bird uh, droppings. Most people who inhale the microscopic fungus never become ill, as mentioned. But Cryptococcus neoformans can lie dormant in the body and cause infection later in those with a weakened immune system. Cryptococcus neoformin infection is not contagious. Upon inhalation of Cryptococcus neoformans, the spores can colonize the lung, where it will typically cause an asymptomatic pneumonia. And from here, in an immunosuppressed person, the fungus can then spread hematogenously, cross the blood-brain barrier, and infect the brain tissue. The central nervous system is the most common secondary site of infection. Cryptococcus has a thick capsule consisting of negatively charged polysaccharides that are immunosuppressive, blocking both cell-mediated immune responses and leukocyte migration. These effects explain the minimal inflammatory response elicited by invading cryptococci. Cryptococcus also produces mannitol, a product that may induce cerebral edema and inhibit phagocyte function. As the infection advances and intracranial pressure increases, encephalopathy, cranial neuropathies, and papal edema can develop. Cryptococcus neoformans can cause symptomatic pneumonia, especially in immunosuppressed patients, and this manifests as a cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, and fevers. In cryptococcal meningitis, 
it is usually slowly progressive with a waxing and waning course characterized by severe intermittent headaches, fever, followed by mild confusion, maybe some personality changes that can progress to stupor and coma. Important differential diagnoses to consider for pulmonary cryptococcus include pneumonia, tuberculosis, and other uh, conditions or diseases, infections uh, that cause problems in immunosuppressed people, including pneumocystis, toxoplasma, histoplasma, coccidioides, candida, cytomegalovirus, and myobacterium avium complex. The differential diagnosis of crypto uh, meningoencephalitis is broad and will not be discussed. Investigations to order uh, with someone suspected of cryptococcus infections include a cryptococcal antigen test in the blood, HIV antibody testing if the patient's HIV status is unknown, a chest x-ray, and even a CT chest that may show nodules, consolidation, infiltration. If meningoencephalitis is suspected, an MRI brain is important, and a lumbar puncture. With the lumbar puncture, sending for cryptococcal antigen and also microscopic culture sensitivity, so culturing basically, and agar culture is a gold standard. There's also India ink preparation of the cerebrospinal fluid, which can help visualize the capsule surrounding cryptococcus neoformans. In terms of treatment, cryptococcus uh, neoformans pneumonia is treated with antifungals. For asymptomatic mild to moderate infection, this is fluconazole. With more severe cases, we would treat it as uh, cryptococcus meningitis. With cryptococcus meningitis, which is quite serious because of the risk of increased uh, intracranial pressure, induction with IV amphotericin B plus flu cytosine, which is an oral antifungal, is important. And then this is followed by maintenance therapy, such as oral fluconazole, until symptoms resolve. Serial therapeutic lumbar punctures are also used for patients with increased intracranial pressure, and this is done to reduce the pressure uh, in the brain. Complications of cryptococcal infections, mainly meningitis, include that of permanent neurological damage, as well as cryptococcoma, which is granulomas within the brain. So to summarize, cryptococcal neoformans infection typically causes problems in immunosuppressed people. Typically, they cause either a lung problem or a brain problem. Treatment is with antifungals. Thank you for watching.